Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector here with another action figure, figure review and here I have the uh, Cat B320 uh, Halo Infinite figure. Um, so here is the front for you, you get that Halo logo on the bottom there. Uh, there. Here's the back, if you guys want to pause and read that you can. And here's all the figures that we've seen before. Nothing else on the side there. And then here's nothing else on the bottom. So besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is out of packaging here. So let's start with the pieces first. So she comes with uh, one uh, like fist hand here. So yeah, you get that little forehand guard there, the blue. So that's cool. And then you get this one hand like salute. So there's that. And then you get two relaxed hands. And then you get this card here with a code for the game, but like I've said in the other videos, I'm not going to show it because I'll probably try getting an Xbox Series X after the PS5. And then you get an extra head here. I don't like it. <laughs> Looks really weird. I don't like it at all. And then she comes with this pistol. I don't remember what it's called in the game, but it looks really accurate. accurate. So there's that, and you get that little peg hole for it to hold down in the holster on the sides. So that's cool. And then I forgot what this little, I, f I forgot what this blaster was called, but you would have to hold down like the trigger button and it'll shoot out a massive laser. I love this gun in the game. So that's cool. And you get that another, another peg hole there. I think you could plug it into her back, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, it looks very accurate from the game. I think the only difference that I see is that this part was kind of red, I think. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. But besides that, that's all we got for pieces. I will switch out the heads and see what they look like after. But here's the actual figure here. So you get that nice cool helmet. You get the reflective silver for the visors here. You get that little navy blue in the front of the face and cap here. And then throughout the rest of the helmet, you get that nice ocean blue. You get some scratches and stuff like that throughout the uh, armor and stuff like that and what's cool about this one it has a robotic arm so that's cool all silver and metallic and I like the how they have that little shoulder pad for it there I like that a lot and then I don't know what's up with the hands here but they look crooked I don't know why it's like that but yeah I like the robotic arm part though um, and then you rest the figure you get more of those little scratches there you get more of that navy blue, uh, more flexible areas, and then you get the ocean blue for like the guard armor areas, and you get some of that white detailing there. Uh, you get some of that dark gray there. Same hands. Same deal with this one. It kind of looks a little crooked, and the finger is a little off. And you get that little silver on the tip of the finger there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and then uh, you get some more detail in there with that scratches and stuff like that. You get some red for the knee pads. Shins are gray. You get more of that scratch detailing. Uh, they don't give the scratch detailing on the bottom of the feet like the other figures do. And then you get this like little piece here. Uh, well, you don't, you can't really take it out, I don't think. But it's a little piece. Uh, it kind of looks like you can. Let's see if I can take that out. It looks like I'm missing a piece though. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look for that, but I'm pretty sure it's the same deal, same thing with this. So I think what you would do is pop that out maybe. I don't know why I'm missing that one piece. Or maybe I'm not supposed to take it out. I don't know. We'll see here in a second. I'm pretty sure I could take that off. Like the, uh, I'm kind of scared to take it off. Yep, I'm not going to. I'm not going to break it or anything like that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take that out. I'm missing that piece, though. I don't know where it is. And if they did that, that makes no sense because then you have to flip it over and then try to get that holster pegged onto there or the gun pegged into there. So that makes no sense. But yeah, let's go over the articulation here. So the head can hinge down that far, up that far. You either it'll go left and right. You get some head pivoting, kind of. Not a whole lot. Your shoulders can move out. Well, they click, pop off like that. 
a little past 90 degrees there. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. You get a little butterfly joint there. Uh, you got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, her wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. She has a ball joint at the top, so you get her to go forward like zero, backwards just a little bit, uh, some side to side. Uh, she does have another ball joint at the bottom here, so not going forward at all, nothing going backwards. Actually, does she? No, she does not have a ball. No, she does. You get a little bit of twisting going on there. So yeah, there's that, and yeah, not much going side to side with the bottom one. Uh, her legs get kicked out just that far forward quite a bit backwards just a very little amount uh, she does have a thigh cut that's kind of hard to twist it since they kind of like curve it up to the hip so it's kind of hard to twist it that way uh, she does have double jointed elbows I mean knees I mean sorry almost butt kick um, her ankles can hinge down that far really far upwards that far uh, nice ankle pivot and toe hinges if I can do that All right, I guess it goes up just that much only and then down that much that other ball joint came out of it So that is a bummer. I don't know if anyone else has had that problem, but I guess I won't be able to switch out heads It's kind of sucky there So I think it's a cool figure it looks cool, but the functionality I guess it's kind of sucky it just falls apart like I don't know why but that head joint thing just popped out of nowhere so I, I can't really switch heads now so that kind of sucks um and also I'm missing that piece I, I, I must be just missing it in the packaging maybe I don't know though I'll have to look through and see if I can find it uh oh never mind I just found it it's right here and that is different from the, that one, so you just pop that one back in, I guess. But yeah, like I said, I wish they did a little bit of a better job, I think. I like the robotic arm. That's the best feature of it, I think. Um, but besides that, I don't like this head sculpt at all. It does not look right. I, I mean, yeah, I don't like it, really. Um, but yeah, I guess the only problems that I have is this and the... Uh, head popping out or that joint that's not supposed to pop out like that but besides that i think this is a cool figure i like the stuff that it comes with but besides that that's all got